It's one of the most unlikely Australian Open finals of recent times. It's the story of two players who've been overlooked, but have earned their place on the biggest stage. Sophia Kennan arrived at the Australian Open full of confidence. By the end of the 2019 season, she was ranked a career high number 12 and was named most improved player of the year. Still, despite all she achieved, she was largely discounted entering the first Grand Slam of the year. But that was about to change. The 21-year-old was flying through her first round match against Italy's Martina Traversan. Game set match. Any. Just set still. And only lost four games in her second round match against fellow American Anne Lee. For the first time in her career, Cannon was through to the third round of the Australian Open. The first real test came against 2016 quarter-finalist Zhang Shui. Kennan was a double breakdown but didn't give in. Kennan fights on. 59 minutes. She takes the first set. The 14th seed battles but she gets across the line. While Kennan had been flying under the radar so far, another promising young American was the centre of attention. Coco Goff. The 15-year-old had taken out the great Venus Williams, but even more remarkably, the defending champion, Naomi Osaka. The two Americans battled in a highly competitive clash for over two hours, but in the end, it was Kennan who reached the final eight at a Grand Slam for the first time. She takes down her fellow countrywoman in three good sets. Impressive stuff from Sophia Kennan. Two days later, Sophia Kennan faced the first Arab woman to play in a Grand Slam quarter-final, Tunisia's Ons Jabeur. It was a tidy performance. She hardly made any mistakes. The breakthrough Grand Slam continued for the number 14 seed. Kennan through to her first Grand Slam singles semi-final. The hopes of American tennis now rested on her shoulders. Born in Russia, the Kennan family moved to the United States when Sophia was just a few months old. Her father, Alexander, remains her coach to this day. My parents moved to uh, America so I could have the American dream. So, I was not aware of what happened. I'm, I, they gave me American dream. I'm proud of it and just thankful for them. The semi-final followed and it was a huge test. The world number one, Ash Barty, pushed Kennan to the limit. That's big. She has ripped a couple of those cross-court forehands. But the American showed nerves of steel in the Melbourne heat. That is a very mature performance from that young woman. And Sophia Kennan, perhaps on the way to the Australian Open final. And that's lost from Barty. Kenny dropped her racket, puts her hands to her face. She's into her first major final. We had a worthy winner. Um, I honestly can't believe this. I've just dreamed about this moment since I was five years old with that anti-erotic video. I'm, I'm sure you guys saw that, but um, yeah, um, I'm just so speechless, so thankful. I've worked so hard to get here and, you know, just thanks to everyone and to my dad and everyone and everyone back home. So thank you guys. Like Sophia Kennan, Garbina Muguruza didn't feature on most of the lists of favourites for the Australian Open. The two-time Grand Slam champion had been in poor form for the last 18 months. In fact, this was the first time since 2014 that Muguruza came into a Grand Slam as an unseeded player. You know, I said to myself to, to be a little bit more patient. The moment will come eventually if you keep working hard. The Spaniard started poorly, fighting a viral illness. She dropped the very first set of the tournament, six games to love. 
Muguruza recovered and won the next two sets against Shelby Rogers easily. In the second round, Australia's Isla Tomjanovic forced her into a decider. She passed the test. And she gets it. Relief on the face of Garbine Muguruza. Muguruza played her way back into health against Alina Slitalina. The former world number one now looked very much on her way to recapturing her form. And only right that she should finish it with a clean winner. What a performance, Muguruza, emphatic. You know, with all my team and then working and taking care of my body, it, each day it's improving. The reunion with her former coach Conchita Martinez seemed to be a key to her newfound success. I think one of the nicest things is, um, you know, when you, when you talk to another ex-player, um, you don't have to put too many words, you know, you right away understand each other, you know, as a player and as an ex-player, so I think that complicity is very nice to have it around. The fourth round was a clash of pure power. Kiki Burtons went down in two sets. That was impressive. <laughs> Gabinia Muguruza is through. Muguruza played in her first major quarterfinal in three years. Oh, it's long. Nice reaction from Muguruza. In impressive fashion, the Spaniard changed gears in the crucial moments. What a way to wrap it up. Gabinia Muguruza is through to the last eight of the Australian Open for the second time in her career. She's starting to look like the young woman who's captured a couple of Grand Slam championships and she is in the fight in Australia. It was an intense battle between two former world number ones in the semi final. A roller coaster ride against Simona Halep, who took it out on the racket after losing the first set. Oh, Fantastic match from Muguruza gets the job done. What a first set from two champions. The Romanian trying to contain her emotions, but it was Muguruza who dictated the terms of the match. Gabinia Muguruza is in her first Australian Open final. It's Muguruza versus Kennan in the final of the first Grand Slam of the year. The ones that were overlooked just a few days ago are now ready for their well-deserved turn in the spotlight.